kind of a new look for you. So if your hair was hair, longer yeah. before. Tell me a little bit about the hair. It's fun. So I cut it for this movie, The Fault in Our Stars, mm -hmm. um, and got a bunch of girls actually around the world to do the same things. We sort of did this campaign called Hair for Hazel where we cut it and then donated. So if anybody yeah. wants to donate their hair, because, you know, a lot of us are lucky. Hair grows back, but hair doesn't grow back for everybody, so. Right, right. No, it's, it's and you have, what a gr amazing length of hair you had, so that's wonderful. And yeah. the movie, it, it's kind of tied to the movie, so explain to everyone what the movie is about. So the movie is a cancer movie that's not about cancer. It's mm -hmm. about two young people who fall in love and understand at a very young age that you don't have to live a long life to live a meaningful life. Which is beautiful and yeah. so necessary, I feel like, in today's, you know, sort of, there's a lot of fear, I think, in the, for going on for the future and what's going to happen with the environment and stuff. And so it's nice to have a movie that celebrates hope and celebrates these, like, small moments. Right. Not necessarily what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or, or worrying about that. The book, yeah. 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 There it is. <laughs> um, I think it's important. To it is, to right? To really think about that. Hope and celebrating life, too. Like, this movie is not a movie that victimizes death or victimizes sickness. It celebrates life. Right. And, and that is so powerful. And I just feel honored to be a part of it.